hello today i'm going to show you how you can add our page link here and remove this unwanted menu and then also how to use session in this admin panel okay so first of all we are going to open first i show you first of all i'm going to remove this menu 3 and menu 4 right now we don't require this so in menu we don't want menu 3 and menu 4 so this menu 3 and menu 4 i will remove from this menu.php now i am going to check okay menu 3 and menu 4 is removed right now now uh, right now we have one page and page name is add product this is for adding the project adding the product so first of all but uh, that link I want to add over here on dashboard so that link was in header.php so I open this header.php and here I am going to find where is written dashboard here we have to select source code i cannot find so i have to check here okay here i am going to add title add product and here we are going to add our add product link save and, uh, and I am going to check here you can see here I got here add product link and if you if you don't want this sign then you can see remove but uh, right now it is okay so I will put here now we don't want this trunk fit and last login so we have to find where is it okay here is the last login so I am going to clean this and we don't want this so i'm going to remove this li okay <coughs> now we want to apply a session so first of all in admin panel i'm going to start session you can see this is the most important top point is this now here session i will take session name is admin dollar row user name so when user login on that time i will type username in this session admin now i will going to open this add product page here again i am going to use session start and i will use here one condition if session admin is equal is equal blank means user is not logging and trying to open this page on that time i will forward this user to login page window.location window.location useful for forwarding a user to one page to another page admin login.ph and now here in this logout link we are going to create one more page in this page we do not want any types of design so i am not going to save as uh, demo.php now in i am going to save this page page name is logout.php here i am going to use session start and then session destroy means we are we remove session and then i am going to use script and here window.location is equal to admin login.php and we have to give link here logout.php now, now I am going to show you what is the advantage of that uh, first of all I close this browser and then again I am going to show you now using localhost admin and here i am going to trying to open directly 
add product dot php i got one error say some start error I see a error already send error. I don't know. No, there is no problem. Now I am going to log in here. You can see I open this demo page, but in this login page, we have to change here, not demo, but add product dot php. So we are going to run this page. You can see I can open this page. This is a session error. Sometimes you get this type of error. And this is very dangerous error. So I will show you how you can solve this error. The first way is go in this modify page property and then title encoding and we don't want this unicode. So we use Now you can see still we have this error. We want, we want, we want. This is very difficult. So I will show you another way close this again open this copy this all code close this and open notepad paste this code now save this file on the same location add product.php so I am going to replace this file and now you can see the error should be gone you can see we don't have this error so you can solve this error this time because uh, the rules is that we have to use compulsory session starting first line and when when our uh, code editor by default a utf8 so it will add something in first line but we cannot see that but it should be there so save as on login page now i am going to log out and now again i am going to press this b again you can see i cannot open this i cannot open this add product.php you can see directly it forward me on login page wait it is loaded you can see i am directly forwarding admin login page so now when you are going to add a new page you have to add you have to add these few lines on the starting of page so nobody can open this page without login so this way we can maintain security and panel and now on my next video i will going to show you how we can make partition of user site template thank you